don't, don't call me Superman if you haven't found my kryptonite. What is going on, YouTube? It is the Big K Cop 360 here. I apologize if I look a little weird because I'm using OBS to record this. My Logitech, uh, Logitech, sorry, webcam software like died on me when I upgraded to Windows 10 anniversary, and the Logitech team is working on it. So regardless of that, here we're back to business, man. We're talking about GPUs, graphics cards. Now, of course, um, about a week ago, about a week ago, a week ago, uh, my boys at Nvidia launched the big uh, Titan X. Yes. Um, let's just escape the stupidity of them calling it the Titan X. I mean, they're going to confuse so many customers with that retarded naming. But regardless of that, they released the Titan X. Uh, was based on, what well, you know, the GP102 chip. And the funny thing about this card was that it had 3,584 CUDA cores. It's about 30, uh, sorry, 20 to 30% faster than the 1080. Blah, 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 this and that. Pretty good go um, boost clock. Uh, reference caller isn't the best as usual, but you no, know, it is what it is. Um, and it's 1,200 US dollars. Absolutely ridiculous. I mean, the thing doesn't even have double position performance. Like, um, NVIDIA talks about this, uh, this thing called INT8. Int 8, um, I guess if you use whatever that is, um, then yeah, it's good. But at the same time, this is a $200 premium on top of all of the other Titans that have launched in the past. Original Titan, $1,000. Titan Black, $1,000. Titan Z, let's not get into it, $3,000. Wow, what a rate. I don't know what NVIDIA was thinking of that card. Continuing on, um, Titan X, uh, Maxwell Edition, $1,000. Well, for some reason, this card... 1200 they just decided to slap on the label of an extra 200 us dollars look regardless of the fact the thing is the reason i'm making this video why i'm bringing this video to you guys is that look this is not going to be the best card that nvidia is going to launch now of course nvidia did take away the geforce and the gtx branding away from this pascal titan x but at the same time the card um doesn't it lacks like specific compute performance traits uh it's listed in like the geforce like lineup of cards and like it's a titan card like it's nvidia always like is so iffy on who they're targeting with this card first it's for gamers then it's for people who like to uh use it for like workstation um applications and then it's this and then it's that like they're all over the place but um you know the gtx or the titan is the titan now, regardless, let me get back to that 3,584 CUDA core number. That is not the biggest or the full fat version of Big Pascal. Now, Big Daddy Pascal uh, has 3,840 CUDA cores, and it just launched, uh, or at least it's just been revealed, in the form of the new Quadro P6000. Now, the Quadro P6000 has 3,840 CUDA cores. And if you guys like don't already know, NVIDIA always, like historically, will always release like the full fat versions of the chips as either a Quadro and they also do it as the Titan card. Now, let's go back. You might be thinking, Kobe, look, bro, NVIDIA wouldn't do this to us. They wouldn't do this to us. Let's just hang on a minute. Let's go back to like 2013, 2012, 2013 with the original GTX Titan. Now, yes, the original GTX Titan did have double precision performance. It was a pretty good card. Like, it was the first, like, big step front video or something different now the original gtx titan was based on gk 110 but it did not have all um of it was not the big fat the full fat gk 110 chip now i'm not exactly sure how many cooler cores exactly it had um i believe i had something like 2688 i think that's too much or something a bit older than that maybe 2304 look regardless of the number it wasn't the legit like full fat gk 110 chip and they still run out and release it for $1,000. But at the same time, with something new, it had something different. And it appealed to certain customers. Now, uh, what is it? Like a year later, they then come out with the GTX Titan Black. This was the real GK110 Titan Black. The full fat, all cooler cores chip. This was the big one. And this was essentially like NVIDIA's like beast card. Now, this is exactly... What is happening right now, guys? I'm telling you right now, it's almost a rinse and repeat. First, NVIDIA will launch like the half-assed Titan X or the half-assed GTX Titan, and then 
Um, they'll of course have like the Quadro version of the full fat version of Pascal, which they've done now with the Quadro P6000. And then in not too long, in the not too distant future, we're going to see, I don't know what they call it, call it but they, we're going to have another Titan card. If it's not going to be another Titan card, we're definitely seeing a 1080 Ti. And that 1080 Ti is going to be a full fat version. It's going to have all 3,840 cooler cores. Yes, that's a big call I'm making to make such a prediction, but I can always guarantee it's going to happen. It's what happened with the 780 Ti, and it's what happened with the 980 Ti. So, yes. I don't know, man. And of course, we'll see, you know, I don't know what they're going to call it. Titan Next Black. Maybe they should call it Titan P. Um, I don't know why they called this one Titan X as it is, but yeah. Anyway, continuing on, when they do do this, how much is it going to cost? This Titan costs $1,200. I honestly don't think that we are that far away from seeing the full fat Pascal on the GeForce lineup or on the Titan lineup. Like, it's going to be coming soon. If it's already ready for the Quadros, it's going to be ready for this, man. And people are going to feel ripped off. But you guys know NVIDIA, man. They do not care. Like, this is what is going to happen. So, look, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Right now, I'm just looking up... GTX uh, Titan Black. I'm just looking up how many CUDA cores it actually had when I can get to Wikipedia. But you guys know what I'm talking about. Like, we had the Titan, and then we had the Titan Black. And the Titan was never the big chip. Okay, here we go. Uh, whew, whew, whew. Okay, so on the February the 18th, uh, 2014, we had the GTX... Uh, no, sorry, February 19th, 2013, we had the GTX Titan. Yes, it did have... 2,688 CUDA cores. Exactly a year later, or like a bit over a year later, a bit under a year later, we had the Titan Black, GK110, 2,880 CUDA cores. Like, <laughs> all it took was one year, and then we had the legit thing. And of course, we're just going to be seeing it happening again today, man. We've got our, we've essentially got our GTX, original GTX Titan of this generation, and whatever is going to be next, like the NVIDIA Titan X Black, or whatever it is, is definitely coming soon. So look guys, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, I really don't hope it's going to cost too much money, but I don't know, you guys know NVIDIA, yes, I do look very, very bright now, because OBS isn't really adjusting my webcam accordingly, like the Logitech webcam software would, but you win some, you lose some, guys. I really do hope you enjoyed. I'm glad to be back-ish. I'm at uni again. I've been doing all this stuff at home, so I, really have, I haven't really had time. I've kind of lost my urge, but like I'm giving you guys content when I can. So thank you. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll see you guys later.